Good morning, everybody. All right. I'm going to show you today um, the layout for Cantilever, which is basically, I've got these couple of pieces of um, paper and I've watercolored uh, the, uh, the piece of paper to start with. So it's kind of, it's just kind of how it sounds really. It's like a counter level sort of thing. So there's like a, um, an area over here which is balancing on, on uh, well not balancing but you know it's like an uneven lever so yeah it's called a cantilever small object here large object here um Hello. Uh -huh. so um what i'm going to do is i just want this is a, as i've said before these are just the starts um, of abstract postcards. We've already done a couple and I'm just going to quickly show you some morning exercise. Um, I don't want terribly much thought to go into it. <laughs> it's the morning after all. So this is a uh, print that my daughter did and when she was playing with the jelly plates not my colors at all really but that's okay that's good good that there's um a bit of blue maybe the blue will be the so i don't want much thought you know to go into this really um because you are going to come back with um, another layer as you've seen in the other videos. Might just draw that there, or maybe that there. I don't like that, um, not round edge, it's funny isn't it, okay, alright, that's actually how mine's going to look, alright, I'll glue it down, okay, so there is the cantilever sort of layout, and those pieces can go away for another day and so the other one I was going to do was the cruciform and the cruciform which has got this lovely yellow is, the, is like the crucifix but it's a form so you know it goes it's just like a cross on the page but any, anywhere on the page oops puppy dog hold on sorry about that um <laughs> so it's like a kind of like a crucifix but it's called the cruciform all right and um so it goes across the page and down so today i'm just going to use one of my printables and a couple of other pieces and just And I mean, it's an angle thing, and you can put it on any angle. Doesn't have to be, I really like that um, script. I don't know that I need all of that though. A bit much. Might take that off. And then we're going to come back in with um, stamps and a focus point, and just like we did in the other two. Um, so, I mean. Oh, 
I would love to see your work, um, which you can put on the Facebook, on our page, Judy Armstrong Studio Group. You can just um, find it really simply. I will put a link underneath my, on my page underneath this. Please subscribe. I really like and and post your work. I really like to see you know if people have been sort of um, trying out different things that I've suggested along the way. Or yeah, love to see other people's works. I want to keep it nice and simple though. I, I actually think that that is fine because I'm going to put, I think I'm going to put the focus point which um, will probably be up here. So, um, and I just wonder if I have a focus point that I can use in my box of tricks. Just for this process. Okay, so I'm going to just use that old ancient urn um, for the focal point and I'm going to glue those down like that and I shall be back. Alright, so that's the layout for the cruciform. Um, I feel like doing one more because these ones were so quick. Um, so I might just do the overlapping squares and... I'll be back after I've painted the background with watercolour. Okay, so overlapping squares. It's a layout that um, is basically exactly what it says. Overlapping squares, well, or oblongs, or um, and that's all it is. It's very simple. So why I thought I'd do another one. I've got this lovely stamped paper I was thinking I might use on that. On that tissue paper. So, I'm just going to pretty much and they're all the same size so I'm going to make a couple of smaller ones That's that one, and I will glue it down. Not much thought going into that. <laughs> but you'll be very surprised at the different, you know, just it makes the picture um, at the other end, you know, right at the finish, look completely different to anything else you've done. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, so that's all dried. That's the overlapping squares, rectangles. Um, and the final one for this morning is the golden square. Now the golden square, and you might know it as something else, but it's when a piece of um, paper is um, broken up into equal, nine equal parts, and it's this bit, this bit, this bit, or this bit, I believe, that is the golden square. So um, it's either there, 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 or there. They call it... Um, many different things actually and um the golden section the golden my girlfriend said something else actually and i can't remember what she said the golden spot the golden anyway it doesn't really matter in, this is in it's a painting term so we are going to make this the focus point on that on that um bit there and i'm just going to create around it 
with whatever I've got left over on the table this morning and so that I can have all of those done and then tomorrow I can actually tomorrow we can um, do the finishing touches to them and inking and so forth so that will be good mm -hmm. Oh, I quite like the border actually around that. That's kind of looks like some Arabian wall. Take that bit off there. That's not good. Okay, kind of brown a bit maybe. Okay, I don't have to finish it all. I think that that's it. Unless I need a piece of that one, maybe. That jelly print, which is just kicking around. To sort of join it all together. Okay, yes, that is actually what I'm going to do. I'll just go away and print, print that, <laughs> glue that down. <laughs> Okay, so that is all glued down. So, this morning has been very busy. I hope I haven't taken too much of your day. So we have the cantilever, the cruciform, the overlapping squares, and the golden section. All right. Um... Tomorrow, um, as long as I've done all of them and I can't remember whether I have done it, I, I probably won't be doing the horizontal. There's a horizontal, diagonal, and vertical, and um, I can just show you the finished pictures of those. I don't probably need to do those, they're pretty, pretty simple, self explanatory, like most of this is. But um, they're so I will work with stamps and um, ink and pens and all sorts of other ink, yeah, the jelly plate and all sorts of things on them on them tomorrow. Okay, you have a fantastic day. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.